Hi everyone, welcome to this video. I'm Inxlaura123 and this is going to be a spend the day with me vlog. So, hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Oh, and don't forget to smash that notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So, today is Friday. The time is 10 to 10. I have got a cup of coffee here in this really cute mug. I love this mug so much. <laughs> it's so adorable. Um, so yeah, I'm still ill, still got the flu. Like I literally feel like it's not gonna go away. Is it gonna go away? It's gonna go away, it's gonna go away. But to be fair, like people I've been speaking with online who have said that they've got the flu as well, they know someone who's got the flu. They're all like, oh like we've had it over 10 days, and it's like, okay, so it seems to be quite a, a lingering flu so uh yeah it kind of sucks last night I had a terrible sleep um i completely forgot to take my benalin before i went to bed uh, which has really been helping me with my cough and, and stuff and i just forgot and yeah in the night i was coughing and couldn't sleep well so i'm very tired today and it's gonna be a busy day i've got lots to do um so wish me luck <laughs> so right what is the plan of action today well as i said, i'm just having my coffee which I keep saying about this, but it's really nice. It's these Nescafe uh, sachets, literally in a box of like six sachets, I think it is, for like a pound. Really cheap as chips, but they're really nice. Like, really, really nice coffee. Mm. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're no Starbucks, so I'm a bit of a coffee snob, but they are they are quite nice for an instant coffee. Um, so you're going to have that. I have housework to do. I'm going to do downstairs first, get that all done. Um, because obviously we've both been ill, me and Nathan have been ill with the flu, like the house is a little bit messy, um, more than normal, so I'm going to give it a nice, good, clean and tidy today. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just looking around like, where do I start? I don't know. I don't, I'll start with the kitchen, do that first then. Um, in here, Nathan's working from home again, so he's on there, he's going to just, he, he's doing his thing over there. Um, I've got dishwasher to empty, um, yeah, sweep the floor, uh, clean the sides in the kitchen, uh, mop the floor, so yeah, the kitchen, and then in here needs to be tidied up a bit, um, there's a big bowl of washing that needs to be put away, so that will have to get done, oh, just honestly, I don't, I don't know where I'm going to start, but yeah, get, get that done down here, and then I think I'm going to have a shower, um, don't come too close because I'll probably smell a bit right now. I'm going to have a shower and head into town. I haven't really been out much, so it's a bit weird. When I do go out, I do find that I'm a little bit social anxiety, bad. Um, but I'm just going to do it because I've got to get out. I've got uh, parcels to post for eBay again. And I need to get a few uh, fit, uh, bits and pieces for me. Nathan wants some bits. Mum wants some bits. So like, I'm just, I'm just going to have to kind of get out. Um... So yeah, and then when I come back, I'll have upstairs to tidy up and clean and do all the same houseworky stuff up there. Um, yeah, also today is Remembrance Day. I've got my poppy here. Um, now, I'll be honest with you, I know this is a bit odd. I actually use one of these little pins instead of the... You know, like when you get your poppies from the little box, you get one of those like pins that you just kind of... I don't like them because I always worry that they're going to hurt me and like stab me and that so I use one of these like safety pins because I think I just you know I don't might look a bit odd because you'll have this thing there but it doesn't matter um at least I'm wearing one and and I, I think it's really important that we do wear them it, it, it does upset me when I see a lot of people not wearing poppies um because I think it's just a nice thing it's a respectful thing to do on remembrance day and what well, all kind of this month really it's just nice um you know my granddad you know, was in the army, he was uh, a desert rat, 8th army desert rat, um, and yeah, like, it's just slight respect, so I, I always wear my poppy, even if I do have to wear it with a safety pin, um, I think my fear of pins become, like, a big thing when I was a kid, because my grandma, she was a dressmaker, and she used to make my clothes, like, a lot of my clothes, um, especially, like, my school uniforms and stuff, and bless her, she would like, not on purpose, by accident, she'd like poke me with a pin. I'd be like, ah, ah, she'd be like, keep still, Laura. I'd be like, Ooh. So I have this fear of pins. <laughs> so, anyway, 
Oh, but yeah, I, I definitely want to wear my... I want to see in town as well if there's anything going on for Remembrance Day. Because um, sometimes they have things in the high street and stuff, but we'll see. Um, obviously on Sunday there will be the Remembrance uh, like parade thing. But I'm not going to go to that because I don't do crowds and a lot of people turn up to that. They do like a lovely parade. I have been to it a few times in the past. But once again, because my anxiety and the big crowd of people, I, I, I can't handle it. I'm just like freaking out. So like, yeah, that's no good. But uh, yeah, they might have something today in town for it. I, I don't know. We will see. Um, I might treat myself to a coffee today as well. It's been like two weeks pretty much. I've not had a Starbucks and I'm like, <laughs> so I might just, um, if it's not too busy, I might just chill in there and have a little coffee. Um, but we'll see. I might get out and just be like, mm, just want to get home. So I'm literally today going to go with the flow when I'm out. If I feel like I want to stay out a little bit longer, I will. But if I'm like, just want to do what I've got to do and then come back, I'll do that as well. Um, another place I need to go is the library, actually. I've got four books to collect i know right like, i shouldn't do it i shouldn't do it i've already got my own books to read but i love going on the library website and just kind of looking at their new books they've got and you know they're free they're books that i might have purchased but now i don't have to because they're free or they're books that i've been interested in in the past but not bought and they're just there for free so like i just click and collect them but um mm. I've got two, I think, YAs and two adult fiction. I can't remember. But, yeah, there's four books to collect. I am um, supposed to be taking my two back, two books back here. But I haven't finished them yet. So what I did this morning, I went on my phone and I renewed them for another couple of weeks. Even though they'll be finished by then. I just didn't want to have to, you know, get a fine or anything. So, yeah. Um, this afternoon, once housework is done, I would love to do some filming even if it's just one video, like anything, I'm so behind with my filming. I just, you know, being ill has just put me behind with everything. And also it's kind of, you know, not helped being <clears throat> ill, but also like finding that motivation to want to film when you're ill, you just want to kind of lay around and just not really do anything. Um, so yeah, if I could get one video done at least, I'd be really happy with that. Um, I haven't got any editing to do today, which is a miracle. Because I edited uh, last night, so that's good. A day of uh, <laughs> no editing will always be good. Um, and yeah, obviously it's the weekend. I don't know what we're up to tonight. I might maybe play a little bit of Mario Kart if you fancy it. Maybe not. Nathan's not well, uh, not well, not well either. So he's not really in the mood for much. It's like it really makes you like not want to do much. Like we're kind of zoning out, um, which is sad. Hopefully it'll be better soon. Oh, you got such a sad little face. You're like big puppy eyes. Now, if you know it's really beautiful eyes, I'm gonna embarrass him now, but you've got such beautiful first thing I noticed about him when I met him, <laughs> he's pulling a funny face now, was his eyes. He got beautiful eyes. and he's got very long eyelashes. When I first met you, I thought you'd put like <laughs> thought you'd put mascara on. But you haven't. He's just got very they'd be if I did really long you've got naturally long eyelashes women pay for that women pay for and men well they ain't having mine no they don't pay for your eyelashes they pay to have like i think it's like extensions or whatever well it's gonna be uh, mine you can have them <laughs> i'll pluck a few and see i miss wearing mascara i used to wear lots of eye makeup um and then i had some few a few issues with my eyes won't go into that now but i had a few issues with my eyes and then after that i kind of stopped um, wearing eye makeup because I was so scared and every time I did try it again they'd sting they'd feel uncomfortable and I was like no what's the point I'm not doing it and then again I'll put a little bit of shadow on but as for like eyeliner mascara mm -mm -mm. I just honestly it's not worth the stress afterwards of feeling stingy eyed um, but yeah I miss wearing mascara because my lashes are not really that long I mean they're right but they're not not like that ones oh <sighs> I'm rambling because I know I've got to get on the housework. <laughs> mm. But yeah, anyway, so that's it. <laughs> Just got killed. Mum's got a hospital appointment today. So she, I mean, she's been in bed. Oh, if you don't know, Mum's not well at the moment. She's got shingles. She's in a lot of pain, um, uncomfortable. And she's been in bed for like a week uh, because she finds it easier to lay down than to sit up. I won't go into details exactly where it is, but let's just say it's somewhere that's very uncomfortable down below anyway 
Um, but yeah, so she's been in bed a week, and, and that's another thing I've been doing a week, like literally making breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, tea, like it, it, it's a lot, when you're not well yourself, it is a lot, but like, it's my mum, I've got to do it, that's that. Um, but yeah, she hasn't been out of the bed for a week, <coughs> and now she's got a, I think it's about half two, she's got a hospital appointment, um, which she's got to get to, she's getting these like important results and stuff, so she's, she's got to get to it, because if she cancels it, you know, God knows how long she'd have to wait, so... Um, I don't know how she's going to struggle out of the house because she hasn't even been downstairs. I don't know. Luckily, um, her friend, one of our neighbours, is going to go with her because um, I'm I'm useless. I, I have terrible medical anxiety and if I was to go with her, trust me, I would just make her worse. Um, so, yeah, um, her friend's going with her on the appointment. But I don't, I don't know. I mean, whether she'll come back and stay down here for a bit or she'll just go straight up to bed, I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to have to play it by ear um but yeah it's been a pretty tough week actually it's been a kind of weird week i don't like things you know when it kind of throws me out of my routine um and my routine has been all like over the place the last few weeks really because the flu it's really it's not me for six um and it's just yeah just doing different things and, and i don't know it just really messes with my head i like routine i like doing what I do normally and suppose when I can't do it or things are different it it affects my brain and stuff it's weird but um anyhow all right <laughs> am I rambling you it's because I don't want to get on with the housework damn it <laughs> damn it well I think what I'm going to do I'm going to have my audio book on yeah while I do the housework yeah what I normally do, either listen to Spotify music or have my audio book, so you're jogging the table. I'm going to start making it shake. <laughs> That's great. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, come on, let's go do the housework. All right, so I have a Mr. Muscle in my hand and I'm not afraid to use it. Um, this is the Mr. Muscle Platinum Kitchen, not just Mr. Muscle, but Mr. Muscle Platinum. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start by cleaning the worktops. I put some new sugar into the sugar thingy and ended up spilling a load of sugar on top here. So there's now a big pile of sugar. So I've got to clean that up. Um, and I think there's bits of marmalade from where I've done my mum's breakfast. <laughs> so let's get cleaning. Look at that big... <laughs> <laughs> oh, a load of sugar. I think I'm just gonna scoop it onto the floor because I've got to sweep the floor anyway, so we'll do that. And ah, now it's on the floor and I'm treading on it. The big chunks of marmalade. Oh, let's get this sprayed. Do you want a drink, Bob? No, I'll go, thank you. Okay. Oh, sweep the floor. Rid of that sugar. Okay, now it's time for the very boring job of emptying the dishwasher.
Right, now it's time to mop the floor. Got me a flash power mop. Really, I do like using the, um, what's it called one? The steamer, but I haven't got the energy today, to be fair. This is, it's going to have to do. <laughs> I mean, it still does the job. Not as good, but, you know, is what it is. I like the smell of this, um, flash one as well. It's got a nice smell. In case you wondered what that noise was, I'm literally just pulling or pressing the little lever there and then that releases the uh, cleaning fluid. Okay, it's now time to do the polishing downstairs. Nathan is taking the mickey out of me because I've literally tried to film this little part about five times. Because I couldn't get my words out. I was like, now it's time to put polish, put polish. <laughs> it's time to polish, all right? Okay, I've got my pledge here. Expert care, wood polish. Um, it's a really good one. I love the smell of um, polish, which might sound a bit random. But I think it's because it reminds me of being a little girl. And I'm going to visit my grandma and her place, a little flat always smelt really nice clean and fresh and always of polish so i don't know i was always like the smell of polish um yeah it's a quite a good one actually and it is of course expert care so um yeah i'm gonna polish the table first um the bookcase on there in there just yeah just just those polish all this on here all these little bits from last night because we filmed the um scratch card scratching video so all the little bits from the scratch cards be gone with you scratch cards didn't even win <laughs> well we won like three oh, quid spoiler, well they'll see that video know, before this one <laughs> you really, i suppose if i haven't seen yeah. it they know we lost we won three quid so it won a total blowout but um, enough. <laughs> what's that sticky on there i think that's from one of my cough sweets or something the wrappers i don't know there we go it's gone oh. i'm struggling to do this housework i have to say actually i can stop in a minute because it's the remembrance day two yeah. minutes silence i want to watch that on telly i wonder if prince charles will be there uh, sorry, King Charles, even. No, he, he'll probably be at the Sunday. Sunday. The actual... Senator. Yeah. Replaying. Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Do they not do it today? No, it's on Remembrance Sunday, don't Oh, okay. <sighs> I don't know what that stain is, look. That's been there for ages. What is that? It's like a weird... You see it at the bottom? It's like the water stain. Yeah. yeah it's She's got new... Um... Yeah, mats. Yeah, she's got new mats, so our bosses are coming round. So she wanted fresh. <laughs> so she's bought a load of new. Well, oh, there's still that stuff there, guy. Um, she's bought a load of new um place mats, <laughs> red and sparkly, for when our bosses come around for Christmas. Um, right, okay, more polish. All right, I've got the Dyson out. It's time to hoover. Okay, so all the housework has been done downstairs. It looks nice and tidy-ish. Ish. I mean, there's still a few things about, but it's better than it was. And it's been cleaned and tidied and hoovered and all that sort of stuff. So that's good. Um, I just had a nice shower wash my hair and stuff so um that is good i feel nice and clean now i'm just gonna dry my hair quickly i've got the hair dry here and my brush so i'm just gonna quickly dry it. i'm not gonna like proper dry it. it's just gonna be a quick kind of just so i don't go out of a soaking wet head um 
I feel quite groggy, if I'm honest with you. I feel a bit like lightheaded, headachy, still coughing. Um, I really don't want to go out, if I'm honest. I, I don't. But I know these parcels have got to be posted and we need some bits and pieces and it's just, it is what it is. And I'd rather go today than tomorrow. So then all weekend I can just stay in, be lazy, relax, etc. So I've got to try and force myself out. Okay, so let's get this hair dried. post office look at that queue behind me it's a lot of people um but i was very lucky because i went on the self-service <laughs> i don't know why they're not though it's probably people who could if they're just doing parcels or what have you but anyway i'm done so that's good um at least the self-service was open and that is all sorted my ebay parcels have been sent These are so cute. <laughs> and Christmas stuff starting to come out now. Um, when I feel a bit better, I will be doing a video, like come Christmas shopping and stuff with me, or like even, um, you know, what shops have in South End, Christmas styly or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> we'll do something Christmassy. I'm just going around to look at the books because I'm in Smith's and why not? Looks like there's a bit of an offer on. Yeah, I mean, Ooh, half price on hardback books. It's a cool cover, like a kind of steampunky book. What books do Richard and Judy recommend then? Yeah. I've got that on order from the library. The girls who disappeared. TikTok made me. <laughs> TikTok made me buy it. I've had a few of these because I've seen them on TikTok and stuff. Or like Instagram and that. I love that book. Love Hypothesis was so good. I've got that book to read at home. I still haven't read it yet. Cemetery Boys. It's supposed to be really, really good. I love that book. That was so good. Wonder. If you've not read it, honestly, I really recommend it. It's so adorable. A book monster. Inflatable book and tablet holder. <laughs> it's pretty cool. These are cute little sticky notes that you've got fries, a cupcake, and some noodles. <laughs> mm, what's this? Book of the Week. Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Oh my god, that book made me cry so much. This looks like it's the sequel, yeah, the sequel to The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, All the Broken Places. Um, hmm, what is this about? Okay. Alright, I'm just heading into Wilco. I need to grab um, some bubble wrap and like uh, postage uh, labels, stickers and stuff. Because I've run out. So, um, I know they do them in Poundland, but their sticky labels aren't that great. I find that they kind of don't stick very well, <laughs> which is kind of pointless for a sticky label. So I find the ones in um, Wilco's a bit better. Right, so they've got them. All oh, right, okay, lady help me, found them. Because like they didn't have that many in, these got 250, so they're better. All right, I'm gonna grab two boxes of these. I've got some bubble wrap as well. 150 okay let's do it so sparkly i like the sparkly lights very cool <laughs> managed to get some sellotape in there as well which is good 
So I don't think I need Poundland now, or do I? I don't know. I've got a little list on my phone, so we will see. I can't remember. Um, oh, that's loud. It's the bus next to me. I haven't been on a bus for ages. I used to love going on the bus when I was a little girl. Anyway. <laughs> Looks like the Victoria Plaza got their tree up as well. Very nice. Sparkly. I like the little presents around it as well. Very cool. And the fake snow. Very cool. So big. So tall. Oh, cool. They've got something for Remembrance Day. I was hoping they would with the poppies. Lest we forget. Very nice display there. Into Poundland. I need some rubber gloves. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't know what I like best, like the castle. Hmm, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, they're cute. Oh, I like the little mini trees as well. They're really cute. Oh, See, the Starbucks machine is open now. I'm not gonna get one now though. I can't be bothered. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. They've got a machine. What drinks do they do? Cafe latte, uh, espresso cappuccino, hot chocolate. Ah, it's pretty cool though. But yeah, I'm not here for that. I'm here for sandwiches. My mum wants uh, two sandwiches. Oh, okay. Ah, these are the ones she's after. Prawn mayo. So, there you go. I mean, not my cup of tea, obviously, but she fancies them. It's got one and two. Okay, right. Nathan wants me to look for some cakes for him. He fancies some cakes. Alright, oh, okay. They've moved them, but I found them now. So, he's after these. These. I can't say it properly. Is it shocks? Two Belgian chocolate shocks or show. Sho I don't know. But these are the ones he wants. Just checking the date. 14th November. Oh, they're all 14th November. Okay. Do you know what? I might get these as well because they've been reduced. So you can have them for tomorrow, or I'll have one, and you can have the other one tomorrow. Ha 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 ha, naughty naughty. Always have a little look at the books when I'm in Sainsbury's. Be rude not to. The Wartime Bookshop. Topsy Turvy, Very Messy, Days of Christmas. I read that recently, absolutely loved it, so cute. Christmas Bookshop was adorable gonna head to um, the frozen section I need to get some uh, jacky potatoes I like the McCain ones so they've been like kind of half cooked and then you finish them off in the microwave where are they um, and normally around here potato favorites here they are it does work out cheaper getting them in the big bags because you get eight for 475. Oh, there we go. Okay, so the only thing I need to get now is bread. Bread. Where are you, bread? Down here, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can smell it. A lovely smell of bread. So fresh and so nice. Um, Warburton's, I need the brown. Uh, no, that's the big one. I want the little one. Here we go. These are the ones I get. <laughs> I'm gonna get a couple because they can go in the freezer. Oh, come here. <laughs> Oof, okay, I'm home, I'm home. Just gonna empty the shop in. Just put you down there. There you go. Um, so yeah, naughty cakes. <laughs> Mum's sandwiches, I've got to go in the fridge. Uh, bread, I'm not sure if I need to. No, I'll put them both in the freezer. Put two breads in the freezer. Big bag, potatoes. 
There's the freezer. Another bread. Another sandwich. Bubble wrap's got to go in my uh, postage bag. Rubber gloves, sellotapes for the postage bag. I've got um, three sellotapes. Home. Yeah, it's good to be back. I uh, I did enjoy being out, but it was enough, you know. It was like, okay, that's enough. I want to get in now. Ooh, mmm, mmm. Oh, I've got this is a Christmas present for Nathan. I'm not going to say it out loud in case he can hear, but I thought this is really funny. I'm going to give this to him. Um, Christmas Eve. <laughs> it's been funny. So maybe he'll wear it Christmas Day. We'll see. But it's funny. I thought it was funny. From Poundland. Um, I've got the sticky labels. Two boxes of those. They're for the postage bag. And I did ask for him to wrap these things up. And all they wrapped them in his kitchen towel. But I suppose it's better than nothing. So from Poundland I've got the... Um, Oh. Snow globe, which is really cool. I love snow globes. Look at that. I love the blue and the white, and also around it, you can see the little bits and pieces there. It's really pretty. Um, I'll put that over there. And this is a mac. This was only two pounds, which was a bargain. We saw something similar to this on the shopping channel the other day. And they were really expensive. <laughs> this was two quid. Absolute blooming bargain. It's a little gingerbread house mug with a little lid on it, which is great because it stops any flies going in it. Um, but yeah, look at the little red door and stuff. It's so cute. So cute. Like a little uh, top there with a candy cane on and stuff. Um, I'm going to rinse that out in a bit. Um, when I have my hot chocolate, I will use that because it's uh, it's super cute. Oh, okay, so potatoes. Oh, I um, oh, Okay, I'm trying to think. Right there for the fridge. The cake is. Naughty, naughty cakes. Uh, Mum's gone to the hospital. So just kind of, I think her appointment was at like quarter two. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to ring her or anything. I'm just going to kind of let her either ring me or just tell me what happened when she gets in. It's up to her. Um, I don't want to like hassle her. Right. Okay. So yeah, just going to tidy this up and stuff. And um, have a little drinky because I'm thirsty. Um, and then, yeah, get started on upstairs, get that tidied up. Get my Pepsi Max here. <coughs> so, yeah. Hmm. I've been naughty. I had my cake now. It is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> mm. I haven't had an eclair. I still have my lip. I have had an eclair for ages. It was really nice. Mmm. <laughs> okay, so the bathroom is done. All that's got to be done is put the mats down and the flannels on the sink and stuff. And uh, we've done mum's bed. Took all her sheets off and stuff. And we did wear gloves when we did it, just in case. Because obviously she got the shingles and it could be contagious. So we did wear um, the gloves. Hence, I bought rubber gloves. These are not the ones, by the way. These are the sp spare pair um so yeah bed's done we've polished and tidied round for us all we've got to do now i'm gonna hoover um upstairs okay so all the housework is done thank you for helping me that's okay it's done um yeah mum's still at the hospital she just gives a call um so we just yeah just gotta wait and see kind of thing how long she's gonna be um but yeah i'm just gonna put my feet up now sit on the sofa just relax chill um, I put some dinner in the oven because I'm really hungry 
and I think I'm just going to kind of look at the TV, got the news on and just kind of flick through that. And I've got my book here, which I'm reading, Good Enough to Eat by Gina Blackseal, which is a retelling, reimagining of Hansel and Gretel. So yeah, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it, actually. So um, that is the plan for the next sort of hour or so. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. All right, so just setting up the video premiere. This is a video I filmed yesterday, so just put it on as a premiere.
Okay, so I've had a nice little read. I'm going to carry on reading in a bit, but I do have to stop reading for a little while because I've got to do mum's dinner. Okay, so she's asked for scrambled egg. put water in the kettle as well for the tea needs filling <clears throat> oh splashing everywhere There you go, dinner is done. Just gonna take it up to mum. Done a cup of tea as well. Okay, so right here's the scene, right? I go up <laughs> with the with the dinner and the tea and she's like snoring her head off. Like she's literally sound asleep. And I'm like, dinner, dinner, like she's asked me to go at that time with her dinner. She'd obviously just fallen asleep. Anyway, so she's woken up now, um, and <laughs> she's, uh, she's eating it, so that's all right. And then um, she asked me to bring up some dessert as well, so I had to go and do a, what are they? Grapefruit. Grapefruit with juice. Yeah, so she's fed and watered. <laughs> Might sound like a camel. <clears throat> so yes, I am just going to get back to my book. It would be great if I could get it done. Oh, and she gave me a Nathan, £5 each. <laughs> it's a little treat to say thank you um, for looking after her. Um, yeah, still reading this, obviously, but I'd love to get it done. I'm now on page 181. So get in there, look. Get in there. It's really good. Bit of a twist, actually. Hmm. It's really good, especially if you like fairy tales and stuff and retellings. I, I definitely recommend it. Also, I've got a magazine here to uh, have a little look through the Spirit and Destiny magazine. So I'm going to look if there's any lot like, articles I could do, maybe in a video, so I can read something out or whatever. Um, and Nathan is doing a Tesco order. shopping order. Because your mum can't get to the shop. Yeah, because like for me, like I just get Sainsbury's bits or we get our Iceland delivery, but mum likes stuff in Tesco's and I can't get there or carry stuff from other places. So we're going to do an order. Um, we need we mustn't forget sauces, but ketchups, Very mayo. Saucy. I'm very saucy. Very saucy. With these glasses with duct tape on. So saucy. Um, yeah, I need saucy. Anyway, we've got the list from her and we're going to add our own little bits and pieces as well. I need mash. That's that. But anyway, so while he's doing the shopping uh, order, he's going to watch a show, a war show, a bit of history. It's called Hitler's Last Stand. What one are you up to? Episode, uh, season two, episode three. Is that deadly defiance? Yeah. Americans fight to oust Nazi forces and complete the liberation of France in January 1945. So these are like 45 minute ish long episodes. And what it's like a reenactment. It's part <coughs> documentary, part reenactment. Yeah. So it's, they tell the story of people's recollections. Yeah. Of with Certain like act battles, actors, yeah. Actors, obviously, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they haven't got the, you know, 90-year-old men <laughs> actually fighting still. No. So that would be a bit out of order to them. Yeah, yeah. They've got actors playing the people. I but say... it is based on their journals and stuff. So, so it's, it follows yeah. us... Their word in Normally it or... follows like a set bunch of soldiers. So mm. it follows a set 
a bunch of soldiers. Yeah. And his, the names are real people. But they the kind actors. of, yeah. yeah. Huh. I've kind of looked up a bit, but like to me, like anything with war makes me just feel really sad and depressed. I know it's important and I think it's a great thing they keep showing documentaries. People never forget. But for me personally, like it just really upsets me. Like even watching that two minute silence this morning uh, for Memorial sad, yeah. Day, yeah, Remembrance, it, it just, I don't know, it makes me I mean, really I've sad. Been to France and Belgium yeah. had to see the actual graves and that. That must be really touching. Really sad when you just mm. see how many there is. <coughs> yeah, I just. And you think this is just one of like mm. hundreds of graves. Yeah. Respect to uh, people who lost their lives and fought for us to. Fight against yeah. hate and horrible people. Anyhow, my phone needs to charge, so I'm going to let Nathan get on with his show and the shopping order. I'm going to get on with my reading and stuff. So I'll see you lovely people in a little while. Whew. Okay, so I've been doing some filming. Um, I've done three videos. I've done one vlog channel video and two ASMR videos. So I'm very happy with myself that I've motivated myself and pushed myself to actually film. So now all I've got to do is just upload them and get them on and that is done. It's been nice and quiet. Um, it was like one motorbike went past, but apart from that, it was all right. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of it. I've, I've been doing this for like oh, a good couple of hours. So I'm like mm, drained from it all now. Did make a few mistakes. Hence, I have to keep starting again. Hence, it takes longer to do. But anyway, so, yeah, that's all done. And my voice is getting croaky by the second. Try not to cough was like really different actually no i've done more i've done three asmr videos you done i've done looking for a magazine i've done a makeup role play and the crystal one and the crystal advent calendar opening yeah. for this channel so i've four done four videos. four videos good job. hard working girl that i am um anyway <laughs> so that's the end of the vlog the rest of the evening i'm literally going to tidy up because like, i've literally got makeup everywhere and crystals and all that jazz so yeah i'm going to tidy up quick um and then i'm going to read my little book i'd love to get that done tonight if i could get it done i'd be really happy and then start the next one um the next one's like a creepy horror ghosty story which i'm quite up for i think as much as i am enjoying this book i think i fancy a little bit of a spooky read next I think I'm still in the Halloween mindset. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me today. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, like, comment, share, subscribe, smash the bell. Check out minxlaura 123 ASMR. Check out my social media links down below. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads. And I do have a throne wish list. If you care to spoil me and treat me, the link is down below to that. I've added some new stuff on there. I've got Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. I've got advent calendars, I've got clothing, I've got books, so a bit of everything really. So please feel free to treat, to treat me. I just spat then, that was disgusting. All right, everyone, take care, lots of love to you, peace, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.